All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris. Welcome, my fellow defenders. Um, I want to make a video. Some of you may have seen this similar video on my other channel, but I think for the new people, especially here, um, this is very important. I'm talking about uh, stocking up on your food, um, your water, and your supplies. Start doing it now if you haven't done it. Um, if you look towards what's going to be happening at the end of June, you have the end of QE2, and we all know that QE3 is going to happen. Uh, whether they call it QE3, who knows, but, you know, they, it's, it's just not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Um, you have the debt ceiling that hasn't been raised yet, but we all know that's going to happen. Um, you have another thing called the quarterly stock reports, and that will have a real effect on the stock market, because if you think about that quote-unquote natural earthquake that happens in Japan, um, all of the parts that they distribute throughout the world, computer parts, car parts, etc., um, have not been going out to the countries around the world, which means that when the next quarterly report comes out, there's going to be a lot of losses. That's going to create a panic. Also, um, a video that I put on my other channel that uh, the COMEX has decreased in their amount of silver that they have in physical possession by 30% in the past six weeks and almost 3% overnight. So people are hoarding up physical silver like never before. And they actually say that if that trend continues, the COMEX will be out of physical silver in approximately five months. Now, when people f flee to the real money, which is gold and silver, that suggests one thing, that the economy is going down the toilet. Now, there's a lot of rumors of what could be happening. None of us will know until it happens, unfortunately. The only people that know are the ones causing it. And um, what I say is be prepared, not, not just with food and water, um, whether you believe in guns or not, that's up to your own personal preference. But having a protection for your family is a wise idea. Um, please check your local laws to make sure you're doing it legally. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world or the rest of the states, but I know in New York um, you are allowed to have a shotgun or a rifle um, without a permit. With handgun, you need a permit. Now, like I said, I'm not promoting gun use that's to each individual. Some people believe in gun ownership, some people don't. So that's up to you and your family and what you want to do. But also remember, guys, while we still have the ability to purchase things with our U.S. dollars or whatever currency you have throughout the world, start purchasing things like toilet paper, um, deodorants, uh, things like shampoo and soaps, um stock up on batteries things like that because you don't want to just survive you want to live and things like toilet paper never go bad you know unless of course you spill water on them but the point of the matter is if you have things that do not expire I mean at the very least even if nothing happens you know knock on wood you know you're at least saving money because we all know and the prices of everything is going higher and higher and don't forget one thing that most people may not even think of don't forget about your pets your animals um, I have not only stocked up on my food and water and supplies but I, ha I have a cat and I actually probably have over 150 to 200 cans of cat food just in case so remember guys your pets are part of your family and in a life and death situation it will show the difference between people who care about other people and people who just care about themselves so don't forget your animals if you're stocking up on food um, please make sure that you take care of them as well um, I would hate to see somebody's part of their family suffer because you didn't think about that so um, make sure you have a radio uh, some kind of CB transmitter if possible um, solar panels are a great way to go in case electricity starts failing um, this is not being a doom and gloom it's being prepared um, if these things never happen and I hope they don't um, these things will help you anyway so 
it's not to panic people it's to prepare people and I always tell people it's like car insurance you don't buy car insurance and say boy I can't wait to get into a car accident because I'm covered no it doesn't work that way and if you are in a car accident you are covered so you're prepared now if you start driving a car at 17 and live until you're 90 and you never get into an accident did you waste your money buying that insurance no because you bought it just in case if the just in case scenario never happens you know that's good but you were protected so that's the same thing you have to think about when it comes to preparing and prepping it's not being paranoid it's not being scared it's being prepared because if you check throughout history um, and no that wasn't some hand signals just had an itch um, if you check throughout history lots of things happen out of the blue and if you're not prepared it could be the matter of life and death and remember a lot of you out there have family have children they're depending on you so this is a quick little message to show you guys that if you haven't started preparing now please do so um, at the very least like I said even if you refuse to believe that the end of the world could happen or the economy can collapse or there could be a depression or hyperinflation if you just think of it in even in the sense of well if I stock up now if prices go up I won't have to worry about it I'll save money so if you want to look at it from that aspect I mean look at the difference between prices one year ago as compared to now I mean coffee is getting to the point where it's so expensive so start doing it now before it's too late because there are going to be millions of people when the you know what hits the fan if it does happen that all of a sudden will race to the drugstore race to the supermarket and they're going to be finding millions of people all in the same boat don't be part of that people so thank you very much for watching and as usual guys peace and love to everybody please subscribe if you haven't and spread the word I want people to unite to this channel so we can all spread the message remember guys united we stand divided we fall have a good day guys